seems all right. What? No, it doesn't smell of old bug. It smells more like uh, onion. I told uh, Stuart before he left the boat that there were some onions that he had to throw away, but he forgot. So they might be all rotten in there. Oh, it's all right. All my plants have obviously died. <laughs> it's to let them under that window yeah, that yeah, leaks. Like, 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 like that. They're good? Well, apart from what? No, they're like dried. Yeah, yeah, but uh, we can yeah. plant them. <laughs> I just, oh, I did take a bin bag out, so that's right. At least we got a bin bag. Oh my god, you didn't even take the bean out, Stu. <laughs> and the most important thing gets turned on. We just went to the shop because we needed some food for tonight, and we had our first bike ride of the season. I can see the boats and the water. And I'm so happy. Beautiful blue sky. Stu is carrying all the shopping. <laughs> Cat, pontoon, driver, and pontoon. We were really tired yesterday, so we went to bed quite early. It's our first morning back on the boat. And first job we have to do is just organize because it's a bit of a mess. And we have to organize the container and the boat. We need to empty the boat because we have way too much around us. And obviously we have to leave on the boat, so we have to keep the bed and the cooking stuff and some clothes, but the rest is going to go in the container and the container is a bit of a mess. So first job to start right is to organize the container and then we can start working again. This summer we can get way more done, I think, I hope, because we've got the whole summer. Last year we had two boats. We spent half of the summer just prepping the other boat to sail and then finding storage and we lost a lot of time. So it's now beginning of May. So we've got quite a long time to work on the boat. So wish us luck <laughs> and let's see what we get done. <laughs> I found this box in the bin, which is gonna be handy to store stuff. Stuart got this little unit from the bin. So that's going to help with the organizing behind those doors. There is a big mess. <laughs> Maybe this lens doesn't do, uh, <laughs> do us any favors, but this is the state of it. Uh, all right. I'll try to record, get better at recording, but at the same time we're waffling and not actually doing this. So let's get it all out. And let's put it all back in. As you can see, this is all of our personal belongings spread out on the road for everyone to see. We got new tubs to hopefully try and organize and remove as much as we can from the boat but still find it accessible still have it accessible um, uh, a whole box of instruments to install on the uh, French canal trip <laughs> the old VHF that doesn't work no wonder why they were being so rude to us that's what a bit Uh, before we start tackling the big jobs, obviously we need a bit of order in our lives and one thing that would really help us would be to have a sink that drains. Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot, people. <laughs> we don't even have indoor plumbing, so we've just got to drill a hole. 
uh, to run a pipe through. Oh yeah. Let's drill a hole. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Going in there somewhere. First hole to be drilled in the boat. Stuart had made a mark, an X, where he thought that the hole was going to be. And that's where the hole is, so it's not too far. Okay. Not bad. Looks in pretty good shape. Nice. So now we'll paint some resin just to protect the fiberglass. Still, we don't have running water, but we can use the hose uh, from the tap outside. Just bring the hose in and use that, or maybe even attach the hose to the actual tap here. It will be so much easier that way, instead of having to take all the dishes there. I will save us time as well to work on the boat, so... This first week is really to just get organized and get comfortable, so we can then crack on and work. Try to measure out three grams, and it's like a spittoon, it just all came out on one. <laughs> so, you made too much? Yeah, I made 12 <laughs> grams. <laughs> that should do it. I think so, yeah. First day back to boat jobs. Lovely windy day, as you can probably hear. We're trying out this new windy sock thing for the GoPro. Anyway, today's job, we're going to have a go at doing this window. The window that we never finished last year. I think it's a beautiful job, but the view's crap. <laughs> um, so yeah, get it off, prep it up, and then look about sealing it, maybe just painting around the outside. Around the outside. We need to try to protect the inside of the ball from the dust. Okay. Still recording. We're live. We're live. Come on. Alright. Don't know if you can hear me that well, but uh yeah. This panel that I put on is uh seems to be doing a pretty good job at not coming off. <laughs> uh, right. Well at least the boat was protected from the rain this winter. Oh shit. What? Broke. Where? That's okay. Oop. And again. Fuck. Fucking hell. Uh oh. Yeah. If someone was right about that. Yeah, bit of a mistake in our part. Leave it, first of all, leaving a job not finished. And maybe not the best way to. So we have to redo that. Yeah. Alright. Load of issues. Oh. All of the days work. We have either overprotected the inside or under protected <laughs> we'll see if anything comes in but hopefully not it's a scene like Dexter I've never watched Dexter but that's what people say uh, that oh yeah that piece of tape is gonna change everything well yeah considering the tape <laughs> fucking shit it's all got stuck to each other okay
whilst the steward has been sanding outside, I've been checking that we have all the parts for the window. So we've got everything here, everything we need. These we're gonna change. We've got loads of it to change all the windows because most of them just leak on, on the seal. So hopefully we don't have to do more windows. We've got 15 meters of these. And look at that. After rubbing it with a bit of that rubbing compound. It's not perfect, but it's looking way better. This is what I used. Fast cut compound. Doctor Stu is getting ready for the operation. This should be the last layer, you think? Maybe. Then a little bit of sanding and hopefully we can put the window. I think it's a good thing that that trim broke the other day when we took the wood out. Yeah, at least, you know, we see that uh, it was a sketchy repair. Hopefully now we can do something slightly better that will last a bit longer. Uh, now well, you got to get it wrong to get it right. I bet the person who commented saying you want to get that out is just going, told you, uh. told you so. <laughs> so. Yeah, you're right, mate, you're right. Yeah, many people said that wasn't a good idea, but let's try not to cut corners this time. <laughs> okay. Oh. This job wasn't finished last year either, so Stuart's giving it a go, getting it done. Last year we got rid of two vents, so there's still two to go. We don't want anything on the decks, or as little as possible. And many people were saying, why are you getting rid of the vents? It's good for ventilation, but we think maybe we end up just putting a vent on the flat hatches on the top instead, so we have less stuff on the deck. Plus all the portholes on this boat are opening portholes so we can get all the ventilation we want. <laughs> so this solar vent the, doesn't work anymore. <laughs> it's gonna go and we're gonna cover that up. This is the foam cabin. And this one as well is gonna go. And this is the forward heads. I really hope that this spongy thing that one of our subscribers got for us is doing his job because <laughs> otherwise you're gonna have loads of noise. <laughs> the car looks in very good shape. not spongy at all. So this is the second vent. Not looking so good. A little bit soggy. Uh, but we'll see what we can do. It's, uh, it's not going so well. It's very wet. Uh, maybe not very, but it's wet. Oh. 
don't know if you can hear much with the wind we're going to have to cut out a square on the deck uh, as square as possible so it's easier to fill and investigate this rotten core yep so let's give that a go That is it for the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry about all the wind, but it's quite difficult to recall when there is so much wind. It was pretty crazy your first week there. I know the recording is not great, maybe the editing isn't either, but we're just getting back into it, so bear with us. And as always, thank you so much to everyone who's supporting, who is watching, to the, all the new subscribers. And yeah, let us know what you think in the comments. As you can see, at the end of this video we find some rotten core and I'm sure we'll find more. <laughs> but it's what it is, we knew this would happen and all we have to do is just fix it. So until next week then. Oh by the way, I don't know if you have noticed in the background but maybe this city is familiar to you? Can anyone guess where we are? And why? Dun, dun, dun.